This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Une Chambre en Ville, a French musical melodrama from 1982, directed by Jacques Demy. It looks at a group of townspeople living in Nantes in 1955 during a workers' strike and protest. Francois is a young man boarding a room from Madame Langlois, whose daughter Edith moved out after her marriage to a television salesman, Edmund. Francois and Edith meet one night, finding themselves falling in love after uh, some time together. After this, they must not only break the news to Madame Langlois, but also to their own partners. Edith to her jealous and possessive husband, and Francois to his own girlfriend, who wishes to marry him. Meanwhile, tensions and conflicts continue to rise as the workers' strike goes on. This movie comes back around to Demi's older musical drama stylings, being closer in tone to the umbrellas of Cherbourg than any of his later movies, especially Donkey Skin. It seems to be making up for lost time, being pure melodrama from start to finish, somehow straddling the line between parody of such stories and the extreme emotional states of characters, and an honest homage that pays respect to these expressions of love, joy, sorrow, etc. The operatic presentation works both ways, adding to the exaggerated reality and the raw emotion on display. It's easy to see the story in both respects, at least for me, as the events themselves are generally rushed and impulsive, with life-changing decisions made in minutes. And yet they are entirely believable because of how much the cast sells the performances. Taking whatever emotion or idea that they are meant to represent within the story, and pretty much making it their only visible trait. On one hand, it's fully theatrical and certainly a spectacle, but on the other hand, it removes the more complex details that made Demi's other films especially fun and engaging. It's boiled down more to emotional presentation rather than building upon this world. Save for the political subtext and commentary, and unfortunately, the lack of a deeper character development also hurts the greater experience. It's not unwatchable, of course, just simpler. Anyways, the film is still very clearly within Demi's visual style, if perhaps treated with a bit of a somber tone to it all. Colors are still plentiful, but more muted and deeper likely to be in line with the greater tone of the film's story. Cinematography is also rather nice, keeping things generally angular and straightforward on characters, moving slowly and keeping to long takes. The film as a whole moves rather slowly, or at least feels as such. I figure it's mostly because of the melodramatic tone and the plight of the characters, which is in itself what truly separates this from Demi's other movies. It trades the optimistic ideas of connections and reconnection, of love and regret, and of happiness and hope, all in favor of something more straightforward and baked in pathos. That's not to say that this is a bad story overall, though. Despite the faults in its design, it's still a pretty compelling story. It's just designed more to make you cry than laugh. Not to mention that there'll be tears of sadness instead of joy. Une Chambre en Ville. Jacques Demy, 1982. Three and a half stars. I'd still recommend watching it. That's it for me. If you like this review, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I wonder if this was one of Demi's last films. It certainly feels like one. Maybe that's just me.